Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and today we are going to talk about SARM's taste. But before we get into that, just a huge shout out, a big thank you to all of you supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough. I know I've been gone for a while. I came back just to so much love and support. It's just, I, I don't even know what to say and normally I'm never at a loss for words. But huge thank you. Everybody that's here, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like the channel. We want to build this thing back up to the top, and I need subscriptions, I need likes, and I need comments, and I promise you I will produce you the absolute best content on the internet if I can just get that support back from everybody. So, that being said, let's dive right into this. So, I get a lot of questions, and these are damn good questions, by the way about the different tastes of SARMs. Now, some people do have confusion there because for very, very, very many years, the only thing that was really used in liquids was grain alcohol or Everclear, and it tastes wretched. There's no two ways about it. You would see for so many years, and you know, you guys know, many of you that follow me, I'm big on the forums. Oh, the amount of questions daily oh, this is terrible, what do we got to do, da, 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 and look, I would always tell people back then to man up, but the older I get and the more I realize it does suck. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I mean, anybody that knows anything about alcohol, Everclear is 90, what, 90 proof? I mean, it's damn near pure alcohol or 95 proof. I mean, it is wretched, and even though it's a little milliliter, you taste it. You do, and I always tell people it's not mouthwash, use a chaser, do this and do that, and you can do all of that, but it still sucks, all right? But just because that was one of the solvents that was used for so long does not mean that's the only way to do it. One of the other main ones that you see now is glycol, and it tastes completely and utterly different. While it does not taste good by any means, it still sucks, it doesn't carry anywhere near the type of taste that Everclear does. It's nowhere near that kind of strength. It's a totally different kind of taste. So that's something to keep in mind. That doesn't mean that it's a bad product. That doesn't mean that it's no good. I have people that tell me, oh, this is bunk because it doesn't taste like this, and that's not true. Now, there's another company that I've been using lately called Umbrella Labs, and Umbrella Labs has what's called a polycell formula. Now, that polycell formula, I have to get a lot more information on it and I'm going to do a video on it because I'm so intrigued by it and, and this is a company that I had not used before and that I knew about but I just never really dived into and used. I've been expanding my company uses lately um, and this happens to be one of my newer favorite ones but I'll get into that later. This is not a video for Umbrella Labs but they have what's called a polycell formula and that is excellent. And supposedly it's something that they have developed proprietary to help with absorption. You have the ability to take it sublingually um, where you would never want to do that with an Everclear version or really not with a glycol version. And sublingually uh, ingesting something obviously is the best, best mechanism of absorption that you can do and this allows you to do that. It, it's got a variety of things and I'm not going to sit here and spew out a bunch of stuff on it when I'm not totally educated on it. Uh, but it's definitely different. It actually really has no taste, but it's still much better of an experience. And the quality of the products has been tremendous as well. Um, but that's another one that I've seen. I've seen a couple places that have flavored ones. I haven't used them. Um, and I question that a little bit because I'm, I'm not... I'm no chemist by any means, and I could be completely off base here, but I just don't think throwing too many things in there at once, um, like with flavoring, is the best plan. I, it, maybe it doesn't have any negative effect on it at all. I don't know that for sure. I'm not going to sit here. One of the things I hate about people out there is when they act like they know every damn little thing. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a chemist. Um, I, I'm familiar with certain aspects of production, but not the greater details and things that could have a negative effect, etc. That's not my area. That's not what I do. Um, but saying that, I just want everybody to understand that just because one of the liquids may not taste wretched, it doesn't mean anything about the quality. What's going to come down to the quality is go look for COA, Certificates of Authenticity, ones that can be verified. Because you should be able to call 
said company to verify that this is a real certificate that they did. It's actually quite easy. Like um, Colmeric is one that a lot of people use and you can call them up right on the phone and say, hey, is this verifiable, this so-and-so lab or whatever it is the case may be and they'll verify it with you right on the phone. Um, you want to be able to do those things. That's how you gain the trust. You go look for honest people people that have posted pictures and feedbacks on forums and message boards and things of that nature where you can actually see the results coming through. Those are the types of things that you want to check out. Um, so just understand that they don't have to taste wretched to be quality. And I just wanted to make sure people know that because a lot of people are confused on that and I don't blame you at all and it's an excellent question. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli, signing off.